Hi guys, this is Tokraft and today I'm just going to show you how devastating the E75 can be. And as you can see we're driving on Live Oaks in a tier 10 match. And I'm heading off towards the city part of the map because I think that E75 is much more powerful in a city part. And as you can see we are driving in a tier 10 match up. And they have some really dangerous tier 10 tanks on the enemy. As you can see, the first enemies already got spotted. The Waffentragers are heading off towards the campy part of the hill there. And I am trying to make some distance between them. <laughs> because those guys have really high penetration and an autoloader. And I don't want to get shot by those Waffentragers. I have a shot on him. I can see that, but this IS-7 is blocking me. Aiming. And a nice shot in this compoler. Oh yeah, in this turret, I mean, because the turret is very weakly armored. As you can see, I'm driving all the way to the side of the map to avoid getting hit by the enemy. Here's an open part of the map, so I really have to be careful here don't want to get spotted right here keep looking if there's enemies spotted on the left or coming from the left there's an IS-8 and another IS-8 driving towards the city but it seems like that I made it into the city so now I am going to yeah, try to side scrape or something. But guys, let's take a look at the map because there's all of our medium tanks are going to the bridge on the south part of the map. As you can see, there's not really a lot of enemy tanks right now. And we have a lot of medium tanks driving there. So they should be able to win this situation because there's an M103, T69, Force 155, Centurion 71, all decent good tanks which should be able to handle that situation but as you can see my team is also slowly disappearing on this part of the map this VK is a little bit driving around here but we should be able to win the situation there's not man that many tanks in this part of the map which we have to defeat and that's one of those of their um, tanks is down one of the Waffentragers. Oh no, this is one of our Waffentragers. One of the IS 8s on the enemy side just suicided around that corner. I tried to make a shot on the other IS 8, but the shot went to the wall. Try to get another shot on this compoler. Aiming. But it bounces, and he bounces as well, so. Another look at the situation on the south part of the map. As you can see there is a lot of enemies now advancing from the south part of the map. And my team is pretty much holding up to them really well. It's 4-2. But the most tanks of the enemies died in this part of the map. And they still need to kill a lot of enemy tanks to yeah, conquer the south side of the map. And as you can see, the Waffen Triggers are still camping up to that hill. And there are three enemy tanks, yeah, heavy tanks, advancing us in this, yeah, in this part of the map into the city. And I'm trying to get closer, but I don't want to get shot by the Waffen Triggers, just so I am looking around. And it was a smart, smart, smart move by me that I didn't draw forward because as you could see there was a lot of people there but we are getting capped now so let me see I'm a little bit tunnel visioning here I not seeing that we are getting capped I think that the AMX is in our base and I make a massive misplay there I turn my tank around instead of just driving back backwards but as you can see, we interrupted the cap already, and I am tunnel visioning again, and I don't see that we have interrupted already. And now I'm doing the right way, driving back backwards, so my strongest armor is facing forwards, angling the tank and getting out of there. But we've been interrupted already, 
And now I see that we have been interrupted. So I turn around to go back and help those guys out. Because that IS-8 is still on a lot of health. And the VK just got taken out. He was in a horrible position though. And I have a nice shot on the side. I had to take a clutch, but it worked out. So, trying to aim for it again. But he repairs his tracks on time. He angles and he drives away. So that makes me need to get closer to him. To get an effective engagement. Because the E75 has really powerful armor on the front of its tank. So I am engaging him. Trying to get pressure onto him. And he knows that. So he's trying to get shots on me. I was trying his to hit his frontal armor there. Because it was angled. And that makes it a flat surface for me. Which is easier to penetrate. So I tried. But unfortunately the shell hit it the side of the tank. And now I'm side scraping him out. This is also not a really good engagement. I tried again to get a shot on the side of yeah, on its angled armor, but it didn't work. But I got its lower glazes and I penned a nice shot onto him and now he's advancing. He shot, shoots, bounces. I make a nice shot happen. Real good angling by me there and the last player on my enemy, on my team is a back chat now. As you can see we've managed to lost the south side of the, ma of the map. A T124, a IS-4 and a STA and ST1, excuse me, are still alive there. And I've got two waffles, E100 and yeah, I've got two waffles still driving around here. And now they have to get in towards the city. And there is one. I thought they would still be camping, but this guy is probably reloading because he's really scared. He's tunnel visioning, but now he sees me and he goes away, so that means he's reloading. So I go to him and I take him out. But the back chat got taken out just before I killed this guy, so that means that I am in contention for a Kolobanov's medal. And now the other Waffen trigger is still in the city. And I don't know where the IS-4 and the STA-1 and the T-124 are heading. As you can see my team is giving me some nice support there. I like that because most of the teams are very devastating calling you a noob. And all that stuff. I don't like those people who do that. Well, I sometimes do that as well. But that's not in contention of saying that people are noob. That is most of the time out of anger that I will say that. And I'm slowly driving in there. But the T124 drove back. He takes a clutch shot and he misses. Oh, there's the Waffentrager. I angle the armor, but it doesn't work. He has really high penetration. I get behind the rack. And now I'm in a very strong position. He's shooting all his clip down. He has one more shot. And it goes into the track. And I take him out. So... That was a really exciting moment, but the moment is not over. The T124 is also engaging me. Clutch shot on the side of the tank. It bounces. I angle the armor. And as you can see, the E75, the Waffentrigger is calling me a noob on the enemy team. But I angle and he bounces. And now he makes a massive misplay by driving back. So he gives me his lower plate. And he's dead. So now... I think, yeah I didn't really know, I didn't really think about where the IS-4 and the STI would be on this moment and they are there so that meant that they have drove all the way around around my base and I'm back into this part of the map and now I am making the misplay by go standing right here. This is not a really strong position for me because he has his lower plate when he goes, yeah when he comes and he makes a very smart move there by going around that corner. And I didn't stay the chance against him. And then the SCI showed up. And I was dead. So guys, that was a really horrible ending for me. What I probably should have done, guys, I could have gone all the way back around that city there, of uh, all the way back 
towards the border of the map so that they could not flank me or I could have just driven into the enemy base but yeah then you're in open field so it pretty much was a death situation for all of me my team gave me some nice support so that helped me out a lot but unfortunately I didn't manage to yeah get it done the call of Barnov's medal is denied well guys I actually got more experience than I expected but it was pretty much a death game and I could never have made it but I gave it a good go but guys as you can see the waffles on the enemy team did a really good amount of damage but the T124 did less than the rest of the team and I was pretty glad that I took the Waffenfregers out because they were very good they had a lot of amount of damage so they could have murdered my team oh, yeah they could have murdered me earlier if I hadn't taken those guys out easier but as you can see the SD1 and the IS4 also did not really that big amount of damage but they got a lot of experience by taking me out of course and I ended up on second by experience and let me quickly check I think second yes I ended also second on damage so actually it wasn't a, re a really bad game I really enjoyed it but it's really sad that I didn't make the Kolobanov's medal happen so I will try next time to do it better and try to get a control of the situation for what is happening around me and all that stuff so I learned from that battle and hope you guys have learned something from that as well. I quit for this episode, I hope you've liked it, I hope you learned a lot about engaging when the enemy have got more enemy tanks than you are. Knowing where the enemy teams are, knowing when you have to move, knowing when you have to engage your enemies, knowing where to hit them and then it's all gonna be fine. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and then I will see you next time. This is all, there's the Waffen Trigger. I angle the armor, but it doesn't work. He has really high penetration, I get behind the rack, and now I'm in a very strong position. He's shooting all his clip down. He has one more shot, and it goes into the trash. And I take him out. So, that was a really exciting moment, but the moment is not over. The T124 is also engaging me. Quad shot on the side of the tank. It bounces. I angle the armor. And as you can see, the E75, the one ring is calling me a big from the other team. But I angle and he bounces, and now he makes a massive misplay by driving back, so he gives me his lower plate. And he's dead. So now, 